What is going on everyone? Bitter Hyena here. Now today's video was originally supposed to be my first box of SM9B Full Metal Wall. Well, once again, for some unknown reason, I lost the file to the box open. Now it wasn't like before where the whole file wouldn't play. This time around it would play until like the very end, but every time it got to that very end part, and it would kind of switch. It would be like a couple seconds earlier, a couple minutes earlier, you know what I mean. But around that time, for some reason, it would stop and it would completely like freeze Adobe Premiere up. And then if I tried to open it after that, it, the whole file was just complete garbage, basically. Now, I had thought about uploading like half of the video up until that last point because it was actually right as we pulled the last like major pull from the box but every time i tried to do that it would like i said it would still get all messed up the video itself wouldn't play the audio worked but i i don't know it was just weird and i tried for a few hours last night as i was editing and a few hours after i got home today and i just I couldn't salvage it. So sadly that opening won't be on the channel, which is completely awful because that box was awesome. It was probably one of my favorite boxes to date because we got an extra card that I have yet to see happen in the new tag team sets. But either way, we will still go over the pools of this fantastic box here. Now, if you guys haven't seen this box, it has some fantastic artwork on it. As you can see here, we got Mel Metal and Lucario for their tag team GX that is in this set. And of course, just like the previous two sets, all this box artwork and the main Tag Team GX cards had their art done by Mitsuhiro Arita. So once again, just a fantastic set, very cool cards in this one. Now, after I got done being aggravated that this happened once again, I did go onto Amazon Japan and order a second box. So I would imagine sometime, this time next week maybe, it should be here. Uh, I usually get them pretty quickly from Amazon Japan. So you would expect maybe end of next week, but we will have another one of these openings up of this set. So no worries there. But once again, I think it was because my camera overheated. I got a little overzealous trying to hurry up and get this box open and I think I just once again overheated the camera. I usually have to stop about 20 minutes to and let the camera cool down or it tends to do weird things to the files on the that I'm recording. So basically it was my own fault. I knew I shouldn't have done it but oh well that's in the past now. We will go over like I said the pools we did get here. And believe me, this was such a good box. So first off, we've got two Crobat Hollows. Very nice artwork though. And I do have these arranged in the order that I do like the cards the best and kind of like the rarity a little bit. But then next up we have the Lucario Hollow. Now I gotta say though, I do like this artwork, but his face looks a little derpy there, just a bit. It's still though, very cool card there. And then next up we have Katana, sorry. Kartana. I don't know why I always say Katana. Yes, Kartana though. Very cool card there. And I don't know. I find it a little weird that this is a grass type. I do understand that Buzzhole and Feromosa Tag Team GX is also a grass type, but they're more bug type, I guess you could say. I don't know. Either way though, very cool card. Next up, we have the Slowbro Hollow. I do like the normal, just like regular Slowbro looking artwork there. And then you've got these weird little, like, I don't know, you wanna say explosions or like confusion kind of things going on in the background. Very cool though. Then next up, we have a Golem with some kind of like big red explosion going on behind it. Maybe like a volcano or something, but very cool colors on that one. And then I would have to say, this isn't my favorite hollow of the set, but it is a close second. We've got Mel Metal there, and I got lucky enough to pull two of them. So I was very happy with that. Cool looking new, what did you, what do you want to call these? It's not legendary, mythic Pokemon maybe? Yeah, that's it, I think, mythic. So then next up though, my favorite hollow of this set, the Stack Attacka. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is actually the set promo for this set too. It's basically the same art, but Stack Attack is like in a more like fighting position and his little blue eyes have all gone red. So it's very cool. I do have a couple of those coming from Plaza Japan and they'll be up here on the channel eventually in an upcoming mail video. But next up, I believe we start. Yep, here is our trainer rare for the box. I was very happy to pull this one. This one's pretty expensive. It's sitting right around 17 bucks for this. Very cool. I love the fact that they redid the Ultra Ball, and I mean, it's a pretty simple design, but it does look very cool. And I don't, well, yeah, I guess you can tell there in the sleeve. It's got quite, like, quite a big hollow bleed on it. Now, the weirdest thing for this box, and this is what I was talking about, the very last pull of the box, we actually got 
a second trainer rare. And of course it had to be Beast Ring. I've had a lot of good luck pulling this card from the Japanese sets. This time last year, I did actually manage to pull this card, the Golden Secret Rare form of it. So that's pretty cool that almost a year later, I actually pulled basically the same card. And I do like the artwork on this because if you look very closely, you can see a buzz hole down there. There is Abomination Clown and then Ultra Necrozma there in the back. It's pretty hard to see, especially with the sleeve on it now. There, you can see it a bit better, but very cool. I was really happy to pull this one. And the fact that I got two trainer rares in a box is awesome because these things can get pretty expensive now. But I believe we are moving on to our GXs here. Now, I was kind of hoping we would pull Celesteela. I mean, I eventually will probably get it just so I could have the complete set. But I was really hoping to pull Blastoise, and we did. It was the last GX that we pulled. Very happy with that one. I mean, he does look kind of derpy, but I do like it a lot. I'm very happy that Blastoise is starting to get some love now. I do wish, though, that we would see, like, a Venusaur GX. I do realize that we had the Tag Team GX of it already, but it would be cool just to see normal Venusaur as a GX. Then next up is our first Tag Team GX card that we got, Lucario in Melmetal. And once again, very nice artwork by Mitsuhiro Arita. Such a good looking card, look at that. I was very happy to pull this one. Very nice card there. And like I said, very happy I didn't pull Celesteela. Now, the next tag team is my favorite in this set, and it is the Buzzhole and Faramosa. I don't know, there is just something about this card that looks so cool. To me, it honestly looks like this should be like the alternate art for this card too. And for a second when I pulled it, I actually thought it was. I got a little excited there. But either way, I am very happy to have pulled this one. Hopefully in the second box, we can get the alternate art of it because it is quite an expensive card. If we don't get this, I would at least like to get either the gold stadium card or blue search. I would be pretty happy with either of those. But now to the best pull we had in the box and it completely surprised me. We've got another Hyper Rare Tag Team GX. And this time around, as you can see, it is the Lucario and Melmetal one. Very nice looking card, man. I love Japanese Hyper Rare so much. The way it shines and the color to it, I mean, English ones don't hold a candle near this one, man. These look so good and I love the background texturing in it. It's almost like a checkerboard pattern. Well, I shouldn't say almost. It is a checkerboard pattern, as you can see. The very cool card. I'm very happy that this was our secret rare for the box. But yes, that is it. That is a quick little recap of our pulls from the first box of Full Metal Wall. Now, like I said, I was I was pretty upset all day while I was at work that all of this had happened. I mean, I had stayed up till like midnight, almost till one o'clock trying to get this video edited and up today. And then as I was about to finish, all that crap just happened and snowballed. And I was uh, I was just devastated, to be completely honest. But from here on out, no more fooling around when we get close to that 20 minute mark up there. I will be resetting the camera because I do not want this to happen. I want you guys to see these pools as they happen. I mean, in my spare time, I love watching card openings, so I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. But that being said, I do have quite a few very cool things coming to the channel here. Two things arrived today in the mail. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you will know that it is the Brock and Misty theme decks from Japan. I ordered these well over a month ago and it was like a week. Well, maybe not a week, maybe a few days after it did release to get here and man, or not get here to ship. Either way, I've been waiting quite a while for them and I'm happy that they got here. They look very cool and I'm very excited to open them. Plus, last night before I did film this video, I did order a random booster box for a card set. Well, I shouldn't say random. It's something I've been looking at. And last night I was just debating about it and I had a little bit of extra money. So I was like, you know what, we'll get it. So that should be here sometime next week too. So stay tuned for that. But as always guys, thank you so much for the love and support. It is greatly appreciated. And I will talk to you all later. See ya.